Cześć, tu Igor, Centrum Przygotowania Sportowego. W tym odcinku z serii... In this episode from the series Iron Grip, I will present exercises using the Gripzilla Tornado. Gripzilla Tornado is an interesting, not yet very popular tool for training forearms and upper body. It looks a bit cosmic, but the construction is generally relatively simple. It's somewhat similar to the Gripzilla Twister. However, the principle of operation of both devices is completely different. Today I will only talk about the Tornado, but, for those interested, I will leave a link to the Gripzilla Twister material below. Gripzilla Tornado consists of two metal, radial handles, which we mount separately to the metal connector. The handles are finished with a metal ball joint. We put them inside the metal cylinders, on top of which we also put the friction pads and a metal plate for hold. We screw in middle metal connector. We can screw the counter ring, so that the thread does not unscrew itself. Then, we start mounting the second handle the same way. The more we tighten the elements, holding the handles to the connector, the more we tighten against the pad, which will consequently increase the resistance. Unfortunately, we are not able to set a specific resistance. We can set a different resistance on both handles. If we want the resistance to be the same on the handles, we have to do it by feeling. The whole device, despite its small size, is relatively heavy. It weighs about 1.35 kilos, which additionally speeds up fatigue during performance. The principle of operation is to change the position of the handles relative to the connector, which gives the possibility of performing various exercises. I will now present a few, in my opinion, cool examples. I gave each exercise its name. The first is a joystick. We grab the connector with one hand, the other hand for the handle and move one handle in different directions. We can safely set a large resistance here. The second exercise is the bending of the rod. We grab the handles now and perform the work, as if we wanted to bend a rod. We can also do it in different directions, for example, up down or front back. In this exercise, we can also set a fairly large resistance. If it is still too light, we can also do the work where the hands will be parallel to the floor, and only the position of the connector changes. The third exercise is a bicycle. We grab the handles and make circles, so that the handles are parallel to the floor all the time. In this exercise, we will have to set a rather smaller resistance than the previous two. The fourth exercise is the tornado. Similar to the third exercise, we only grab the handles and set them vertically. You also can make circles in one or the other direction. We can also change the grip. Resistance level can similar to the third exercise. There are many more options, of course. We can do at least the exercises I have presented, but in a different hand position, which will engage other muscles. Although the tool is inconspicuous, the training is not complicated. Using the tornado is very fun and pleasant, and you can also really tire your forearms in an unusual way. So, if someone is looking for an interesting, original, relatively small tool to strengthen the grip strength and generally training forearms and not only, then the Gripzilla Tornado can be the solution. That's all in this episode. Let me know in the comment if you want to learn more or you already trained with the Gripzilla Tornado. And if you like this material, then a standard thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with a bell. Gripzilla, let's get gripping.